Let's have a look at the second question of question 13. What is the minimum interest rate that would allow us to spend $120,500 in the future period? So what we see is that in the future period, we only have $60,000 as an income, but we would like to spend much more than that. So the way we could do it is by keeping the money from the first period in the bank and get interest, which means that the maximum consumption in the second period could be the money from the second period plus the money from the first period compounded at the interest. So let's see how that works out. The consumption in the future should be $120,500. That's what we're aiming for. The money in the future is $60,000 that we have, plus the money in the present, that's $55,000 that we have, compounded at a certain interest rate that we are looking for. Now, let's do some math. Let's take this term on the other side. So 60,000, we're taking it over here. 120,500 minus 60,000, we are left with $60,500 equals to 55,000 times 1 plus R. Now, what does that mean? That means that 1 plus R is equal to 60,500 divided by 55,000. And what 60,500 divided by 55,000? If we cancel them out, that's equal to 1.1, which means that 1 plus R is equal to 1.1. And that means that the interest rate is equal to 0 0.1 or 10%. So if we have this interest rate and we compound our income from the first period, we can achieve to our desired income, to our desired consumption in the second period, which is $120,500. And we are done.